What is going on champs and welcome back to the MB10 studio where in today's episode we are taking a look on a support mousehold team. So this mousehold has Shrink Guard as his ability, Rock Helmet as the um, item, Protect, Follow Me, Super Fang, Helping Hand and Terror Ghost as the moves and Terror type. It will be uh, in company with an Iron Hands with a Salt Vest, Brilliant Citrus Berry, Urge with the Mystic Water, Fluttering with the Booster Energy and a little bit surprisingly uh, Icy Wind as its move so it can uh, speed control um, the whole matchup. Not something I'm very used to using, Icy Wind. Uh, I don't really use it that often to be fair, so it's going to be interesting to see if we are in today's video. We have to cheat you with the choice specs as usual, so if you guys want to check this team out yourself, which I highly recommend you do because I believe this is going to be a very, very strong team, just looking at the six months uh, in it, make sure you head down to the uh, description below, check out the wrench code down there, or just look at the top right corner here of the um, gaming screen. So yeah, if you, as always, if you guys have a team you want me to feature in a future video, then make sure you leave me that wrench code down in the description below and I'll make sure to do so. Um, so yeah, the team looks incredibly strong and I can't wait to see how Mousel is going to hold up as a support mon or if any of these other mons is going to surprise me somehow, which um, I highly doubt because most of them have, has its basic, uh, you know, moves. So so yeah, I think we should get straight into the first matchup and see what this team actually really is all about. Okay, so our first matchup here will be against Nicholas, which will be bringing an Urgeful, Flussermane, Tornadus, Dragonite, Amoongus, and Ogabon. So, an extremely, extremely powerful team here, um, where I do believe we lead with Iron Hands, and probably next to the Fluttermane. Bring Mousehold in the back, and honestly, I feel like we probably should bring Urshifu um, at the end. But yeah, this team is, the team we're going up against is definitely a very, very strong team, so... Um, I'm actually very scared to go up against this because there, it has so much going for it and so many great mods that can be utilized. Um, yeah, it's in, in general, it's just a very, very, very strong team, in my opinion. Um, however, if he brings Dragonite, we might be able to catch him with E-Speed and then we can tear a Ghost and then we can pretty much close out uh, that mod with Follow Me. Um, and even for Fluttermane, if it's Choice Specs and goes into... Shadow Ball, we might be able to close it out on the um, Shadow Ball. So he leads the Tornadus Urshifu. Which I guess is... Actually, realistically, probably what you would expect to see. Uh, so honestly, I feel like we probably just fake out Urshifu. We can't really deny the uh, Trasilization coming up. Unfortunately, so I feel like we go for Dazzling. Um, so yeah, and not translation, the Tailwind is what I meant. We can't deny that thing going up, unfortunately. Um, so let's see. Dazzling. Enough to KO Urgifu, so that threat is out of the equation now, luckily. Um... I assume he's probably Kova Cloak or something on that um, Tornadus. And anyway, I'd had to... Like, there's no way I'd be able to KO it anyway. So Fake Up made more sense into Urshifu. Since that thing probably was a bigger threat for us here. Um, okay, so his Iron Hands comes in now. Oh, no, Iron Hands, sorry. His, um, his cheeky little... Um, um, flutter. Okay, so I feel like we can probably heavy slam it and protect on our, ourselves. Um, just to stay alive at least one more round with our flutter main. I'm a bit scared though that he might be able to KO with Dazzling and a Bleak Wind. But um, we'll see. Oh, he goes for Shadow Ball. Let's go. That's honestly so important right there. And then Bleak Wind. Oh, that is so... That Protect was so important on our flutter main. Oh, and we avoid? Come on, hands. Let's go, big boy. And we KO his flutter. What an absolute beautiful turn that was from us. Come on, hands, you beauty. That was actually phenomenal. I like that very, very much. Um, Now down to his two last ones. 
Hands Floods has been absolutely destroying this. We might be in trouble now, though, because Ogre Pond is in here. Good thing we did not terrestrialize. We have Urshi in the back. I think we just get you out of the equation. And go for Icy Wind, if possible. Never mind, we get the battle cancelled. We didn't even get to see what Mousehold is all capable of. Because his hands and floods are just absolutely destroyed the opponent. But, hey, who's complaining about a victory? Okay, so this is definitely a Trick Room team with the addition of uh, Wellspring Okapon and the um, Urshifu. Um, so we know we can't fake out. Which means that it's probably better for us to hit um, Urshifu. Or maybe, wait a minute. What if we lead? I actually don't know what to do at this point. Um, I think we lead you probably next to you, mouse hold in the back, and now it's between hands. Uh, I feel like we go Rillaboom because Rillaboom can be super effective against the um. I mean, I guess hands could be that too against the Blood Moon, but um, yeah, I feel like we did the right thing here. That's actually a call less calling card, whatever you want to call it. To be fair, I will give him that much or her. Okay, so the Urshifu Armor usually that's a different approach to what I expected. Huh. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, probably, I should just go for Surging Strikes. If he want to, I guess he can... Like, if he really wants to, I guess he can Terrestrialize. I don't... If he Terrestrializes Grass, I could see that happening in then Trick Room. Please don't be what I'm expecting. Please don't do... Please don't do it. Oh, okay, he goes dark. Um, now hands would have been nice to have brought, actually. Um, ooh, even though Dasting does a shite ton of damage. Which means we should probably have went for the Aqua Jet, actually. Then we would have taken it down immediately. Hmm. U-turn? Oh my god, he... Oh my god, he did not just kill himself. Oh my god, his strategy went completely wrong. There's no way. <laughs> his strategy went completely wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel bad for him, kinda. Oh my god. And now, we're gonna be able to KO whatever comes in. Indeedy. Going around. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna KO, and if it has Rocky Helmet, it might be a bit tricky situation. But I just know we're gonna get certain strikes off into it. Oh my god, I feel bad for him now. Is it Rocky? Okay, it's not. Beautiful. Oh, there's no way he just killed himself. Why did he not think about I had a Flutter main and an Urshifu right in front of him? Like, why? And realistically, what are you gonna do now? Because I'm gonna KO you with Dazzling Gleam. Like, I'm going to KO his uh, Ndidi now. I, I I would say so with Dazzling. And then my Searching Strikes goes before your Tor Call. What? Okay, I didn't KO. Fair enough. But this guy's strategy is so weird. Oh. Searching actually doesn't do as much as I expected it to do. But that's probably because Sun is up. I mean, we still do quite decent damage in my opinion. And then Eruption. Or do you go for Heat Wave? Or do you go for Heat Wave? So you are, but... Oh, who avoids? Oh, Flutter. Mm, that's actually beautiful. Because that should be able to... Never mind. Take another double cancel. Another cancel battle. Two times in a row. We're just that good. We are just that good, champs.
Okay, and for our third and final matchup, we'll be going up against a Ochre Pond, Blood Moon, um, Okie Doki, Fire, Pelian Taurus, the um, Alolan Ninetales, and the Roaring Moon. Okay, this is an interesting team. Very, very interesting. Honestly, I feel like we can probably lead Mousehold here. Um, very interesting team, in fact. Next to Flutter, potentially. Urshi in the back. Um... Honestly, I might go Chiyu just because I, I think Chiyu is a cool ass mon. Let's just go Chiyu and uh, and let's see. Uh, that's like, mm, interesting. I'm very interested to see how he's going to play this out because he, it's a, it's an interesting team he has. Um, Like it has, yeah. Very interested to see what it's like. Hmm. Okay. So the Peldean Taurus and Rowing Moon lead. So I assume Rowing Moon is going to go for probably Tailwind. But it will probably terrestrialize into um, Flying type in order to survive a uh, my destined gleam head. And what is going on with this communication? Which is... Oh, there it comes. I was like, what, what, what the heck is going on? Okay. And at speed was heightened. Okay, that's an interesting one. And... And fairness. But we have the same, so we still, sh still should be quicker. But it's definitely going for tail windows. No, it's like not. And I assume he's going... I mean, we could also go Icy, because I feel like he's going to Terrestrialize, and then we can take his speed down a little bit. I don't know how good idea this is, but I mean, we won the two first ones, so we can experiment a little bit with a strat here. And this is actually the first time we actually even brought in the mouse hold to the, uh, to the battlefield. Um, because we've just been absolutely destroying our opponent, otherwise with our leads. Um... So let's see how mouse will hold up here. Wrong moon protects. Okay. So it doesn't want to terrestrialize. He double protects. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. That's actually interesting. Now I'm not gonna lie, I am thinking a little bit about going super fang into him. Um just for shits and gigs. Super Fang. Then what if we protect? Um, I think like we can actually probably do that. that. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, here comes the translation. It's probably, let's be honest, it's going to be into the Roaring Moon. It's going to go flying top. Never mind. It's going to be into Taurus, which is now weak to um, Ice-type moves. Which is, is weird, in my opinion. Okay, but Tailwind comes out as expected. Will-O-Wisp? Huh. Interesting. Nice. I like that. Um. Now we can go for follow me. And now we hit the icy wind. That's like... Now he's just very weak to an icy wind. That's interesting. Huh. Let's see if he goes for acrobatics. Okay. You go for another will-o-wisp. Oh no. Oh, we miss. Oh, we miss Roaring Moon. That's a lot of damage. I take that. Will o Wisp connects. Honestly, it's fine by me, to be fair. Because I don't think we should die from... 
I don't think we die from um, an acrobatics. Let's see, how much do we go down to? 89, I don't think we die, then no. No, we shouldn't die. You can go for follow me again, and then just another icy. Because we shouldn't die, realistically. From an, from an uh, acrobatics. And we might die from Dragon Claw, though. Um, oh, he protects it. Fair enough, fair enough. Double protect? Nope, no double protect. That's interesting. Means we get another icy wind off. Um, hmm. Oh, that's good damage. Was that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. I thought that was a crit. That's a good damage. Close combat. Okay, Chaos Mouse Hold. I still don't understand what the Will O Wisp was for. Maybe because he expected me to go for something along the lines of maybe the uh, population bomb. But no. Now we need to think what we go in with here. Uh, you are gonna be weak. This is a little risky play because I feel like it might double up into Flutter, so this might be a bit risky here. Um. But we'll see. If it works out, it's very, very good. Because he might will a wisp into us, actually. Oh, he protects his Taurus. That's interesting. I don't want Acrobats. Oh, okay. That's actually a good turn for us. I like that turn. I really, really like this turn. In fairness. Especially if we hit this Icy win, I really, really enjoy it. Let's see. Oh, we do. Do we KO? Oh, we don't, but it's... Damn near close enough. It's at least it's close enough to the fact where I can, uh, where I can hit a um, aqua jet and kill it. Cause that's gonna KO, and then I can just hit a shadow ball and take out the Taurus as well. Um, you can even protect the um, rowing moon if you want to. It doesn't matter. That would just be beautiful. You go for protect. Hmm. Fair enough. For no reason. Aqua Jet. Boom. Chaos Roaring Moon. And then Shadow Ball should be able to take down the... Um, the bull here. Nice. Which means that thing goes down. And now he's down to two months. So two against three now. Um... I mean, it's not over yet, but depending on what he puts in here, it's looking very, very tough for him. Ursa Luna, okay, it's looking tough for him, especially because you already did Terrestrialize. And Ogre Pun. Oh, it's looking tough. Is it because I could just... Oh, wait a minute. If he could go for Follow Me, that'd be dangerous if he had that. I am going to Icy Wind here. Just to lower the speed. At least in hope I lower the speed. Okay, I hit both, which is good. Lower speed on both, which is also good. Which means we might be able to outspeed Okapon now. Um, Point Leech. Doesn't KO, luckily. And then he's probably going for Hyper Voice for the set setup, isn't he? Moonblast. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. That's somewhat... Good, because we can surge strikes in there, and we can icy win again to continuous continuously lower the ogre pun speed. Yes, let's go. That's important. Icy win is actually so strong on a flutter main. I just realized I've never actually thought about it like that. Like, you can play with your opponent's, uh, you know, speed levels really, really much, which I really, really like. You know what? I could actually probably terrestrialize my. Um, my um Urshifu here but I didn't let's see what he does here it goes for Horn leads into me does just shite ton of damage 
So there's no point of thrash slicing him now, losing some stab. Searching. I mean, we can just Shadow Ball. The only thing is... If oh, never mind. Get Battle Cancelled. We go free for free in terms of winning and Battle Cancelled. So, I mean, this is just a perfect video, wasn't it? Like, free wins and free matchups. Free Battle Cancels or free wage quits, basically. Um, yeah, this team is, is the real deal. Wow, we win three matches, three wins, three wage quits from our opponents. Like, that's not very often that happens, so... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the stat speaks for itself. This team is extremely, extremely strong. So if you want to check it out, make sure you head down to the description below and check out the rent score. Just look at the top right corner here of the uh, game window. So yeah, we didn't get to see much of Mouse Mousehold as a support man. Um, we got a little bit in the third matchup, but not too much, to be fair. Um, the, the mons who stole the show were honestly floods. I mean... Urge everyone, Iron Hands contributed very, very well. But Flutterman was definitely the MVP of today's uh, episode. And definitely the one I will say uh, shined through the most. That Icy win actually came way more in clutch compared to what I expected. Um, so yeah, I think this team is extremely, extremely strong. Um, so yeah, make sure you check it out. And as always, if you guys have a team you want me to feature in a future video, then make sure you leave that ventricle down in the comment section below. And yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash the thumbs up button as it helped me massively as a content creator. And, it's, and if you, you know, if you liked today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we are trying to hit a thousand regional champs. And as you can see on the board down below me right now, we have 870 uh, members, uh, regional champs here on the channel. We're trying to hit that 1000. When we do, we'll play the black and whites here on the channel. So yeah, this... Um, it's definitely a goal of mine, so please help me out with that. And yeah, otherwise, I hope I see you guys in my next video. And as always, happy gaming.